problems with immigration severe enough to warrant these kinds of changes? Wow, that's a loaded question because it depends on who you ask. Um, I think that, you know, to be honest with ourselves, even though we're attorneys who practice in the field, there, of course, there are issues with immigration. Um, do I agree that the, those issues are the ones that the administration or other groups are looking at? Not necessarily. Um, I sometimes think they're barking up the wrong tree. But do I think there need to be changes? Yes, because there can be improvements that aren't just enforcement or just harmful to U.S. immigration. I think that I'd like to see changes that are also beneficial. And I do think, you know, it's been what, since I think the most significant changes, regulatory changes were in 1996 under Bill Clinton. So, I mean, I think it's probably time just even to update our information. Matthew? Yes, I mean, I totally agree. I mean, it's a little off topic, but, you know, for example, I, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs and, you know, our immigration laws are just totally inadequate for dealing with things like new companies and, uh, you know, entrepreneurship. So there's tons of areas that are definitely problematic. I, I think that there are bad actors in companies as in all things. And, um, you know, those companies that aren't paying prevailing wages or are not appropriately employing their, their workers deserve scrutiny. Uh, but I don't really think that uh, the whole population of companies who use foreign workers deserves higher levels of scrutiny just because of a couple of bad actors. 